Okay, mathematicians, this is the third and final video. You are on the home stretch. You're almost there. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we are going to look at volume of a sphere. And I'm going to do two problems because there is some vocabulary that I want to make sure that you understand. Okay, so here we go. What is the volume of a sphere with a diameter of 3.2 meters rounded to the nearest tenth of a cubic meter. Okay, so first of all, volume of a sphere. Let's go ahead and draw our sphere. These are always fun. Draw a nice big circle. And if you want to make it look cool, you can sketch in the, um, the inner parts just so it does look like a circle. It gives it that 3D look. There we go. Now, in order to do a sphere, we do still... Um, our formula is a little bit different. So it is one you just need to recognize. It is 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now, I always have to remember that it's 4 divided by 3. It is 4 thirds. It is greater than 1. And having this divided by 3 helps me to remember that I need a radius of 3. Okay? So I am going to go ahead and plug in what I know. Diameter of 3.2. Well, I know diameter goes all the way across the circle. So my diameter is 3.2. The challenge is I don't need the diameter. <laughs> I need the radius. Fortunately, I remember that the diameter or the radius is um, half of the diameter. So I'm actually just going to go over here to my calculator. I'm going to do 3.2 divided by 2 and get 1.6. So my radius is 1.6. What are we using? Meters. Okay, that's the only number I need to know to plug this in. So let's go. Volume equals 4 thirds pi radius 1.6 cubed. Okay, now how do we do this on the calculator? So I'm going to show you um, in an extended version how I type this in. So to get the volume, you're going to do 4. And then you're going to do times pi times 1.6. Hit the cube button. And then you're going to hit divide by 3. That is how we type this in. It is, well, at least that's the easiest way. There are more than one way to do this, but let me show you how it works because it does work quite conveniently. I'm going to do 4 times pi times 1.6 cubed divided by 3. And there is my number. So notice that it is a really long number. Volume equals 17.15728, and it keeps going. They want us to ground to the nearest tenth, which is this number. So again, I always have to decide, is this closer to 17.10 or 17.20? Since this is a 15, it is actually closer to this number. So volume equals 17. Point two, remember mathematicians, we just don't write the zero, and it is meters cubed because we cubed the radius. Okay. Type this number in, check it. If you're right, move on. Woohoo. If it's wrong, go back and check and see where your mistake was. Maybe you just typed it in wrong. Okay, um, next one. The second one is also spheres, but they have a new vocabulary word that I want to make sure that you understand. What is the volume of a hemisphere with a radius of 2.1 meters, rounded to the nearest tenth of a cubic meter? Okay, hemi, hemi means half. So when they are asking for a hemisphere, we are actually, I'm going to sketch the whole thing. Here is... A sphere, right, here's our sphere, but they actually only want half of it. So I'm going to kind of erase that. How would we find, okay, so now I'm going to sketch this in darker. They want to know a hemisphere, hemisphere. 
So I'm only going to find half of it. Now, to find half of it, I really am going to use the same formula. So remember, we have volume equals 4 thirds pi r cubed, but then I'm going to divide by 2. Because I'm going to find the whole sphere, and then I'm only going to take half of it. So I will divide by 2. Now, what's really cool about this one is they told us the radius is 2.1. That's exactly what we need. So here we go. Volume equals 4 thirds pi r, which is 2.1 cubed, and then I'm going to divide by 2. So how do I type that in on the calculator? Because that is always the challenge. Okay, volume equals. We're going to do like we did up here. I'm going to do volume, or sorry, 4 times the pi times 2.1 cubed. Then I'm going to divide by 3. Then I'm going to divide by 2. It is possible just to put this string in. Fortunately, our calculators are pretty smart, and they can keep track of everything we're doing. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay. Oh, I know I have a little bit of a glare. Let's move it down here. Okay. So I do 4 times pi times 2.1 cubed divided by 3, then divided by 2 equals. And there is my number. I have volume equals 19.39619, and it keeps going. I need to round to the tenths, so this is either going to be 19.30 or it's going to be 19.40. Since this is a 39, it is closer here. My volume is 19.4. Don't need to write the zero. What was my unit? It was meters. And because this is a um, 3D shape, it is cubed. I'm going to type that in and check my work. Okay, go ahead and jump into Delta Math. You're almost there. You're going to be ready for the test next.